Hello, good afternoon. Of course, I'm positive this is afternoon as well because this lecture is being given to other students that are based right away in Zambia. I'm Ivan Zoukomara here by CDT Group, Center Hamburg University, Diversity Learning Institute, and Twitatane EVO NGO, delivering uh, uh, free and uh, uh, sponsored education to the needy and vulnerable. So we continue with chemistry, University Foundation of First Year Chemistry, and we've been doing a series of theme or themes under organic chemistry. Organic chemistry. So I would say, welcome to organic chemistry. Welcome to organic chemistry. And today we are going to look at alcohols, okay? We're gonna look at alcohols and of course, uh, this word or term, alcohol, is quite familiar wherever you go. Uh, you're gonna find that uh, in supermarkets, in pubs, beer halls, alcohol is sold, okay? Alcohol is sold, it could be in the content of beer, it could be in the content of um, wines and so on and so forth. But at this point in time, we are not gonna go into such nitty gritties. We are going to focus on the structures and nomenclature of alcohols. Okay, we're gonna focus on structures and nomenclature of, of course, alcohols. Nomenclature simply means, in this case, naming the alcohols according to the UPAC system. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna share the screen so that we can have a look at some document, then move on with the um, discussion. So how do I share the screen? Here, let me first um, get out my video. Then I can easily see, wait a second. Share the screen. Uh, and how do I do it? Okay, this is the syllabus. Okay, I'm looking for my document. Here we go. Okay, good. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Now let me know if you able to see the document. We get back to uh, Nancy. Were you able to see the document? Just give me a thumb. Cool. Thank you. All right. So we're gonna get back to our document. As I take a glass of water, I just read through, read through, and I'm going to be with you shortly.
Okay. Um, I'm trying to open something. I'm going to share again. Don't worry. Awesome. So let's to the document. It, oh, here we go. Nomenclature of alcohols. Alcohols, I'm reading from here. Let me get my pencil. So I'm reading from here and on. Alcohols are one of the most important functional groups in organic chemistry. You know the meaning of functional group. We discussed this when we looked at the uh, hydrocarbons and stuff, okay? The functional groups in organic chemistry. Alcohols are a good source of reagents for synthesis reactions. The ability to identify alcohols is important, especially when looking at IR and NMR spectra. That's gonna be explained, don't worry. The alcohol signal is very easy to spot on IR graphs because they have a strong signal near the 3,200, of course, Bay, St. Vera region. That should not bother you, it's gonna come later. We, at the moment, interested in naming and doing the structures of the alcohol so that we understand before we get down to physical structure, I mean, physical properties and chemical properties and so on and so forth. Introduction, the following is a list of some common primary alcohols based on the UPAC naming system. UPAC, don't worry, this simply means the International Union of Pure Anatomic Chemistry, okay? Came together to say, okay, this is how we're gonna be uh, naming uh, the organic compounds, for instance, in this case. Now, we're going to discuss as well here, primary, what does it mean uh, to be a primary alcohol? We've got primary alcohols, of course, uh, secondary alcohols and tertiary alcohols. Now, the primary alcohols here are the ones that are displayed on this uh, diagram. NEM, molecular formula. So now remember, you remember what I said last time uh, was that when you build your uh, organic chemistry properly from the world of the simplest family or the earliest family, which is the hydrocarbons called alkanes, okay, alkanes. Then wherever we are going to go to, we are going to be borrowing the nomenclature or the names of other organic compounds from the alkanes family. Okay, so if you had missed uh, a lecture on alkanes, you might find some problems. And quickly, you wanna go back, read about nomenclature or naming of alkanes that have got a carbon-carbon single bond. Because whatever we're going to go to, we are going to be copying the name, then we just change something a little bit. So now we are on alcohols when we come to uh, acids, carboxylic acids, is going to as well be the same everywhere or anywhere we go to. Now here, let's see how alkanes relate to um, the alcohols. For instance, this is the OH, the hydroxy or hydroxyl group, the OH. This is the functional group of all alcohols. Okay, that's the functional group. And you identify even any alcohol by virtue of presence of the hydroxy or hydroxyl group, which is the minus OH. The simplest compound or alcohol has got one carbon atom. So if you remember, the simplest alkane we said is called 
methane, methane, okay, methane, and its formula we said is CH4, okay, CH4, that is one carbon surrounded by four hydrogens. So now we pluck away one hydrogen from methane, we remain with, we substitute, we bring in the OH group, okay? And now it becomes here. From methane, we remove the last E and add OL, which represents the OH group or hydroxy group. And it becomes methanol, from methane to methanol, or common name, methyl alcohol okay methyl alcohol remember why methyl if we remove the oh we remain with a group called methyl isn't it methyl alcohol by virtue of now having the oh that's the simplest primary alcohol then we get down to the second simplest of course it should have two carbon atoms okay and this is c2 h5 or h and it's called ethanol why because it is built from ethane ethane a hydrocarbon okay whose formula is c2 h6 but we remove one hydrogen and we bring in the OH to create a complete alcohol compound. And we got ethanol, ethanol, ethane, ethanol. Or common name now. From ethane, if you remove one hydrogen, okay, you remain with an unstable substance called ethyl ethyl group okay so it's going to be called instead of ethan minus one hydrogen ethyl and alcohol because of oh okay so the third of course three carbons from propane to propanol okay or this group is called propyl alcohol. It even becomes boring and boring because we're just repeating the same formula. And see, that's one thing I talked about. In organic chemistry, we talk about the families, okay? It's so systematic. Butane, butanol, or butyl alcohol. Pentane, pentanol, or pentyl alcohol. Hexen, hexanol, or hexyl alcohol. Hepten, heptanol, or heptyl alcohol. Octen, octanol, or octyl, octyl alcohol. But, okay, starting from uh, here, the third, three carbons, we are going to be mentioning on to which position is the OH attached, okay? Remember, this is a functional group. Is it attached on the first carbon, on the second carbon, okay, or on the third carbon? And the name, of course, is going to slightly change than I have just spoken about, okay? So let's go down. Now we're going to have a look at rules for naming the alcohols. Remember, structures at the moment and nomenclature. Number one, find the longest chain containing the hydroxy group. Okay? The longest. Don't forget, remember when we did isomers or isomerism, we talked about the longest chain. Okay, now in this case, 
the longest chain, that longest chain you identified should contain the main functional group of alcohols, which is the OH or the hydroxy globe. Uh, one second, come on. Okay, if there is a chain with more carbons than the one containing the OH group, it will be named as a substituent, okay? So if there is a chain with more carbons than the one containing the OH group, it will be named as a substituent. So regardless of that long chain, as long as it is there and not containing, okay? It's going to be called the substituent. To place the OH, that's the functional, the OH on the lowest possible number for the chain. In any case, the counting of that chain should be started from the lowest number, just like we did. You remember one, two, three, four, if it's on two, we are going to say one, two, and not one, two, three. No, so always, in any case, they're talking about the shortest distance. With the exception of carbonyl groups, okay, we are going to have a look at the carbonyl groups, uh, that's the O, double compound, R1, R2 and stuff. With the exception of carbonyl groups, such as ketones and aldehydes, the alcohol or hydroxy groups have first priority for naming. So in any case, when doing a nomenclature of any alcohol, prioritize this group, the OH, figure out where it is, okay? In any case, it is going to carry the main name, okay? The main name of that kind of nomenclature. We're gonna look at that, don't worry. So uh, make priority here the alcohol or hydroxy group or groups. When naming, number three, when naming a cyclic structure, you know a cyclic, yeah? Because we can have the aliphatic system, that is the chain, non cyclo okay? Or we can have cyclic, like you remember we discussed benzene, is it? Which is a ring that is called cyclic or aromatic. When naming a cyclic structure, the OH, which is the hydroxy group or alcohol group, is assumed to be on the first carbon, okay? On the first carbon. Unless the carbon group is present, in which case the latter will get priority at the first carbon. Don't worry, we're going to discuss this. So we assume this cyclic structure has got the OH. So that OH is standing on the first carbon for when multiple, multiple, okay, many. When multiple OH groups are on the cyclic structure, number the carbons on which the OH groups reside. Okay, for instance, you could have two or three, okay, or so OH or hydroxy groups on a cyclic. So just position them, okay? Of course, respecting the shortest distance with regard from where you're starting counting on the first OH. Five, remove the final E from the parent alkane. You remember? Mm -hmm. So parent, these are parents, originators of the nomenclature. So remove the final E from the parent alkane chain and add O, like we have seen, okay? Methane, methanol, ethane, ethanol, propane, 
propanol and so on. When multiple alcohols are present, use dye. So please take note. Normally when we, the, we talk like this alcohols, we are referring to the OH group, okay? Which is defining, of course, that substance or compound to being or to qualifying as an alcohol. So the OH in this case also is referred to as an alcohol. When multiple alcohols are present, use dye, dry, etc., which can be tetra and so on, okay? Just remember what we discussed last time. For instance, we had uh, uh, halo alkanes, yeah, halogens and alkanes. If there was one chlorine, we just said the position chloro, maybe butane. If there were two chlorines, we said one comma two di chloro, and so on. If there were three, we said tri chloro. So it's the same formula the same nomenclature system. So use dye, try ETC before the, or after the parent name, okay? So example, two comma three hexendio, okay? Hexendio, meaning, even before we draw the structure of this here, okay? Before we draw, you can tell to say, hmm, the parent name is coming from the hydrocarbon called hexane, is it? Hexane has got six carbons. So in any case, it's supposed to be hexanol, but because this hexane okay, is building up an alcohol with two hydroxy groups, okay? One is on the second carbon, the other one on the third carbon, and they'll be called one comma two hexandiol, okay? If it's one, no diol, just it's going to be hexanol. For instance, if it's on second, it's just going to be two hexanol, but dio because of two groups. So sometimes you can be taught to say, you can be giving such kind of a name here, draw the structure of this alcohol, draw the structure. So no fear, number one, figure out the parent name, hexan, hexanol, two of them. So you do a chain of carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first, the first OH is going to be on the second carbon, another one on the second, second carbon, I mean third carbon, and you are done. Simple as all that. If a carbonyl group is present, the OH group is named with the prefix hydroxy, with a carbonyl group attached to the parent chain name so that Okay, with R O on, but don't worry, we are not yet doing the carbonyl stuff. Before I go to the board to make some demonstrations, let's have a look at that. Oh, come on, we wanna have that. Okay. Okay, structure and classification of alcohols. This page defines an alcohol and explains the differences between primary. Okay, so we're gonna underline that or highlight. Between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols. It examines in some detail their simple physical properties such as solubility, boiling points, and boiling points. Alcohols are compounds in which one or more hydrogen atoms in an alkane have been replaced by an OH group. Like I've said earlier on, alcohols fall into different classes depending on how the OH group is positioned on the chain of the carbon. Remember, 
is the functional group on the carbon atom. There are some chemical differences between the various types. Don't worry about that. We're interested in nomenclature and the structure or structural formula. Primary alcohols. In a primary one degree alcohol, the carbon atom that carries the OH group is only attached to the alkyl group. Okay, it's only attached to the alkyl group. Some examples of primary alcohols are here. Okay. Okay, I want it to be, well, I want it to be like that. Oh, come on, I can't have those stuff together. Let me, okay, it's okay. Oh, okay, springing. So these are primary alcohols. So the primary alcohols are attached to the alkyl group. In any case, they are attached, the OH group is attached to one carbon, okay? Like for instance, if I shed that, if I removed that, this is going to be one, two, ethane, ethyl, ethyl group, okay? And attached just right there on the first carbon. When we come to one, two, three, this is propane. From propane, we build propanol, okay? Or propane, one, or, or one dash propanol is the same, okay? The most important thing we're discussing here is the primary alcohols are attached, okay, to the alkyl group, one carbon. Now look at that. If we removed OH, propane will become propyl group, isn't it? Propyl alcohol in general terms. So even here, this is primary, even if there's a branch, okay, because this group is attached here, okay? We've removed one hydrogen to bring in the OH. So if you remove the OH again, it becomes an alkyl group. In this case, it is an isomer, which is, Two methyl, okay, one, two, two methyl, longest chain propane. But because we're bringing in OH, so on the first carbon, okay, remember priority is given here. So the counting was one, two, three. Okay, so two methyl propane dash one dash. Oh, notice that the complexity of the attached alkyl or alkyl group is relevant, is irrelevant, sorry. In each case, there is only one linkage to an alkyl group from the CH2 group holding the OH group, okay? They are called groups because they are not stable, okay? not stable. There is an exception to this. Methanol, CH3OH, is counted as a primary alcohol, even though there are no alkyl groups attached to of the OH carbon. Of course, by virtue of methanol, you know that just bearing one carbon atom. Okay. Now, let's have a look at secondary alcohols. So don't forget, primary alcohols here. Let's just quite reflect. In a primary alcohol, the carbon atom that carries the OH group is only attached to one alkyl group, okay? Now let's go to secondary. In a secondary two degree alcohol, 
the carbon atom with OH group, okay? With OH group. This is the carbon now where the OH group is attached. This is the carbon where the OH is attached. This is the carbon where the OH. So in a secondary alcohol, the carbon atom with the OH group attached is joined directly to two alkyl groups. Yes, to two alkyl groups, which may be the same or different. So now this carbon, which is containing the OH or hydroxy group is attached to this alkyl group, which is called methyl, okay? This is methyl and this is methyl group. So that's why it qualifies to become a secondary carbon. This is a secondary carbon, which gives us a secondary alcohol, okay? I think we mentioned something uh, about primary carbons, secondary and tertiary carbons in hydrocarbons nomenclature. So, methyl, methyl. Now, let's have a look at this. It's attached to two groups as well. Group one, methyl group, but here it can't be meth, two, isn't it? from ethane ethyl. So this group is double carbons. If we removed everything, that's why it becomes an uh, uh, ethyl, okay? And unbalanced. So if we removed everything here, it will just be minus CH2, okay, dash CH3 and it's going to be called ethyl group. So which groups do we have here attached to this uh, secondary carbon? The methyl and one, two ethyl groups, okay? Now let's have a look at this one here. This is a secondary carbon, which produces secondary alcohol. Why? Because this carbon is attached to an alkyl group here called ethyl group. And even here, ethyl group. Okay? That's why these are called secondary alcohols. Now, let's have a look at nomenclature under here. Propane from pro, uh, propane, isn't it? Propane. So you remove the E from propane. Now look, the longest chain is one, two, three. So parent name, propane, propane. Where's the OH on the second one, two? Whichever way, one, two, or one, two. Left to right, right to left, it's the same. Two, or. Two or sometimes the two can come in front here. Two dash propanol, it's the same. Two dash propanol. Now here the longest chain, one, two, three, four. So now remember we have to respect the uh, presence of the hydroxy group, which is the functional. So it's either attached on the one, two, three, or one, two from the other side. So we're gonna take the shorter distance. And the parent name is one, two, three, four. Butane, we remove E from butane and we bring in the alcohol. Butane, butane, two, or, or two dash butanol. Simple as that. Carbons one, two, three, four, five. From pentane, we remove E from pentane. Where is the OH hydroxy group attached? 
So if we start from my left, one, two, three, it's the same as starting from here, one, two, three. So whichever way, it's gonna give us pent dash three or, or three dash pentanol. So now secondary, why secondary? Because the carbon containing the OH is attached to two different alkyl groups, okay? That's very important. Let's have a look at tertiary. Tertiary, you can even guess before we have a look at the examples. Oh, come on. Um, okay. okay, here we go. Tertiary alcohols. In a tertiary three degree alcohol, the carbon atom holding the OH okay, group is attached directly to three alkyl groups, three alkyl groups. So the first one, only on one, which is primary, the secondary, the second one, which is attached to two. Now here, attached to three alkyl groups, which may be any combination of the same or different groups. So regardless of important is this carbon carrying the function group saying, am I surrounded by three alkyl groups, then I qualify to become a tertiary carbon, okay? So it becomes a tertiary carbon, which produces a tertiary alcohol by it, eventually carrying the OH group on it. Now let's go and see some examples of tertiary alcohols. Now, look, if you look at this structure, this is the one, one second. Oh, come on, don't freeze, please. Okay. This is the carbon here, holding the hydroxy group. It is surrounded by one, two, three groups. This group is called methyl group, methyl group, methyl group, one, two, three. Hence, it qualifies, this carbon in the middle qualifies to be a tertiary carbon. Therefore, whatever I'm gonna produce is gonna be a tertiary alcohol. So sometimes you're gonna be given the structures to figure out, classify the following as either primary, secondary, or tertiary. So just bear that in mind, all right? Let's check. OH is here, it's attached onto this one. Is this a secondary, primary, tertiary? Why? One, two, three carbon. So we're going to let's count this as the methyl from methane, another one similar, methyl group from methane. On the third one, from ethane ethyl group, it qualifies, therefore this one qualifies to be a tertiary carbon. And by virtue of presence of the OH hydroxy, it becomes a tertiary alcohol. Okay, now nomenclature, here we go. All the time, start with the longest chain that is containing the OH, the hydroxy group in this case. So let's check one, two, three along here. Even if you went the other direction like this, the same. When you stretch this, it's the same. Even when you went like this, it's going to be the same. So therefore, first, if I were you, I would write the longest chain of carbons, which is, oh, come on. Okay. 
from propen. One, two, three, propen. Next, so that we complete. Uh, why is it not coming out? So I want to do that one second. Yeah, I want to have it that way. Okay, to end just here. Okay, so name the parent is going to be two propanol, meaning the OH is on the second carbon. Or this system done is propan dash two O. Now, so if this is propan two O, where do we place the other groups, the methyl groups? Okay. How many methyl groups do we have? We've got here one. Don't forget, we have identified this one as the longest chain. Let me remove this. Okay. So now this one becomes the longest chain. Don't say how many alkyl, uh, I mean, methyl group do we, do we have? This one and this one and this one in terms of nomenclature. No. So first identify now just the longest carbon, which is this one, one, two, three, propane. Okay. Then on which position is the hydroxy group? One, two. Okay. That's why you've got a two here. Then this is now the only branch, the CH3, okay? So the methyl group is also on the second, one, two, or one, two. Two dash methyl propan, two dash O, okay? Sometimes written as two methyl dash two dash propanol. It's gonna be the same, all right. Equally here, nomenclature, which one is the longest distance? One, two, three, the longest chain, of course, when I say distance, the longest chain of carbons. It's one, two, three, four. Okay. So now I'm gonna do this. I'm no longer talking about, we are no longer talking about the tertiary or stuff, but attachment. So the OH is attached on the one, two, or one, two, three. So we are going to go with the shortest distance, one, two. Therefore, if it's attached here, this is gonna be a branch, okay? This is gonna be a branch. And parent name, you start with here, okay? From butane, one, two, three, four, butane. But let's position the OH, butane dash two O. Then where is the position of this guy here? One, two, two dash methyl. This is a methyl group. And you've got what is called two methyl butane two O or two methyl dash two butanol is the same. Very interesting. Now, we don't have to, what about physical properties of alcohols? We're gonna come to that. We are on the nomenclature. The chart below, the chart below shows the boiling points of the following simple primary and, and, and. Okay, let's just have a look at the nomenclature. So this one is methanol. This one is ethanol. You don't need to position where this belongs because if you put it on the first or here, either carbon is the first, okay? So it's here, if it comes here, it's the same structure. So we just say ethanol or ethyl alcohol. Now, from propane, propanol, OH can be in between on the second. That's why now we have to position here. Propan, where is it? Here on the first carbon. Propan, one or one dash propanol is the same. 
And here we've got one, two, three, four. Parent, butane, or butane, one, no. It is on the first, okay? Because the OH can be here or can be there. So, butane, one, oh, also one dash butanol. Okay. Now let's have a look at some uh, more structures. One second, please. I have some more structures. Now, ethane is producing this alcohol, isn't it? Okay. Ethane which is CH3, CH3 is the same as CH2, H6. Don't forget, okay? Don't be confused by uh, the oh, what? This is just the same. If you condense the carbons, C2, H6. Then it's going to give us, with the presence of the OH group, it's going to be ethanol. That's the alcohol found in beer, wine, and other consumed Periods. So there are some people that say, oh, I don't drink, I don't drink uh, only, <laughs> I don't drink beer, I only drink some, some red wine, <laughs> but it's alcohol as well, okay, the, the presence of the OH uh, brings you onto the platform of the drinkers. So, now, secondary alcohol we've discussed. Now here, please, sometimes you are not given the structures showing the carbons, the hydrogens and stuff. No, you're just given skeletal, okay? Like a skeleton. So you have to bear in mind that every corner, okay? Except here, every corner has got a carbon atom. So here, there's carbon. Here is carbon, and here is carbon. Hence, carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, or carbon one, carbon two, carbon three. That's why it's called propane, and giving us propanol, okay? So look, it's on the second, one, two, or one, two. Two dash propanol, okay? That's the other way I've been telling you the naming. Or propane dash two, or it's the same. So when you've got such, even here, okay, just know that somewhere there are carbons. Like here, there's a carbon. Every corner has got a carbon. That's why it's regarded as ethanol from ethane, one, two, ethane, okay, ethanol. Now, okay, this is going to be a, a topic on its own. Other functional groups on an alcohol, okay? Other possibilities where you've got some um, halides or halogens. In this case, uh, bromine, okay, finds itself into an alcohol. How to find itself? These are chemical reactions we're going to be looking at at the later stage. Remember, this time we're only focusing on nomenclature, namely other functional groups on an alcohol. Remember, we are saying pentanol, yeah, pent five. So carbon, 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 and or and carbon. So one, two, three, four, five carbons. Okay. Meaning, now here, uh, very important, take note, very, very important. You might say, Mr. Komona, why should we start with one, two, three, okay, bromo? And why aren't we starting with one, two? Okay, very good question. Now, like we read above, bromo or bromine, okay, is not given 
priority to create a parent name. The parent name is created by the hydroxyl group. Of course, it owns the alcohol groups, okay? So the parent name is going to be the end. Remember, parent is always at the end. So I want to do something. So first name, if I were you, I would start with naming the parent name, which is containing the longest carbon chains and the shortest distance of alcohol. You create a parent. So first, one, two, three, four, five, pentane. Now it's going to be pentanoi because of the functional group, OH. Therefore, where do I place my OH on the second carbon? One, two, shortest distance, not one, two, three, four, no. So I've created my parent name, which is two dash pentano. Then the rest, which are not parents, can come in front here. Like in this case, Bromo is not creating the parent. Therefore, since the journey started from here, one, two, this is going to be three. Okay? So three dash bromo dash two pentanol. All right. All still, it's going to be the same three dash bromo penta pentan dash two dash o. But just take it as easy as that. Interesting. So don't forget here. The parent name comes from here, the hydroxy group. So use it to create the first parent name before you enter what's going to be on the other side, all right, of nomenclature. Now, remember last time we looked at some cyclic, isn't it? Cyclo. I think the reference was benzene. Okay, we're going to be finishing shortly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cyclic alcohol. With two hydroxy groups or OH groups. Very interesting. Okay. So in general terms, this is a cyclic alcohol, but now it's always important to mention the positions of the functional groups or the hydroxy groups. And also identify what's the name of this cycle, okay? Assuming there's no OH, OH, it's going to be a carbon, a carbon, a carbon, a carbon, a carbon, and here carbon. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So because it's a circle, it's going to be called cyclo, hexane. So assuming there's no this, there's no oh, the uh, hydroxy group, it's going to be cyclo hexane. Okay? Cyclo hexane. Now comes the foreigners, which has to take over the nomenclature as falling into the world of alcohols. In this case, cyclic alcohols by virtue of ring forms. Now, let's name the parent. So the parent is going to be created by the OH and their positions. Remember, we said up there that the position onto which the OH is attached, the carbon, that is the carbon position, is counted as number one. So let's assume, let's take this one, okay? So this one here, We are going to say it's attached on number one. So start counting here. 
one, two, three, and the other one is going to be four. Okay? The other one is going to be four. Even if you started counting from the other here, hydroxy group, this one. If you said, okay, let this be one. One, two, three, four. So it's the same. Okay? Therefore, one comma four dio, okay? And parent name from how many carbons? Hexane. Four, uh, six carbons, hexane. Therefore, because it is in a cyclic form or in circle form, I'm going to add cyclo. Okay, cyclo. Cyclo. Hexane. Sometimes you given the name, could you draw the structure or a structure of cyclo hexane one comma four dio? No sweating, no sweating. All you're gonna do is, I'm seeing XA. This is a saturated compound, okay? Because it is hex, this is going to have six corners, each corner representing a carbon. So hexagon, this is coming from hexagon, and in the circle form. Then I'm going to position one, OH is going to be on the first carbon, the one I count number one, then wherever I go along the circle or cyclic should be on the fourth position, as simple as all that. So therefore, you are going to draw first, you are going to draw this. Next, bring this one. Next, count one, two, three, four. Okay, the next is going to be here. And you got your own structure. All right. So now, um, at this point, okay, I think we can do some. Three minutes, just some three minutes. Okay, then we finish because it's towards the end. Other functional group. Oh my God, the battery is going. Other functional group on cyclic structure. Now this already you can see that it's not saturated. There's a double bond, isn't it? Double bond. Remember, hexene. Okay, six carbons. Not hexane this time, hexane. Neo. Okay, what I'm going to do is because my battery is gone, I want to write some homework for you here before it shuts down. Uh, let me stop sharing. We're going to finish it up. I'm going to please remind me to share this document so that you can read. What's just remaining here is to explain a little bit here and just to look at uh, here. Okay some compounds and stuff. Easy. Because I'm scared my battery. I'm very far away from the office. Down, down, down. By the time I'm coming back with my charger, you are all gone. So what I'm going to do now, let me just take a pen and write this homework. Quickly, I've got a few seconds. I hope you're able to see. Um, okay. Uh, one, this is assignment, assignment, write down please, assignment. Which of these are primary, secondary, oh please, battery don't go, secondary, uh, tertiary, 
alcohols. So A, okay. Clear, B. Battery savers, C. Day. Uh, mind you, there's a separation here yeah. and mix together. That's it. Number two. Name each compound or molecule above. Name each compound or molecule above. Quickly, my battery is almost gone, but you're gonna survive. I hope you've copied quickly. I'm going to erase that. I need some space. Uh, question three, last question for your assignment. I hope you're able to see question three. Question three. Name the follow. We A B. Thank God for the battery still surviving. B. God, we've survived. C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is enough. Please copy properly. Bromine. Bromine. Okay. And we are done. All right, quickly copy. Name the following A, B, and C. 
see. Okay, this shouldn't confuse you. I'm sure you copied it already. All right, wonderful. So, thank God that uh, the battery has been so merciful. And my apologies, I've got to rush for a meeting. We're supposed to have a general English language, but for today, we're gonna end here. Tomorrow, we're gonna go German language. We haven't done German for some time. So, thank you for attending the organic chemistry um, course and God bless you all. Auf Wiedersehen.